The Fourth World Congress of the Communist International was an assembly of delegates to the Communist International held in Petrograd and Moscow, Soviet Russia, between November 5 and December 5, 1922. A total of 343 voting delegates from 58 countries were in attendance. The Fourth World Congress is best remembered for having amplified the tactic of the United Front into a fundamental part of international communist policy. The gathering also elected a new set of leaders to the Comintern's governing body, the Executive Committee of the Communist International (ECCI). Topic: History. Topic: Historical background. The Fourth World Congress of the Comintern was convened on November 5, 1922. Just days after Benito Mussolini's march on Rome that effectively seized power for his National Fascist Party. The revolutionary upsurge which had swept Europe during the years immediately following the termination of World War I was clearly in full retreat and the international communist movement saw itself in need for accommodation to this changed political environment. With the prospects for immediate revolution in the industrialized countries of Western Europe fading, the defense of the regime in Soviet Russia had rapidly come to be seen as the chief priority of the communist movement. Owing to the failure of revolution in Finland, Germany, Hungary, and elsewhere, the stature of the Communist Party of Russia was enhanced relative to other communist parties of the world, and tendencies towards centralization and Russian dominance were thereby accelerated. Topic. Convocation The Fourth World Congress was attended by 343 voting delegates from 58 different countries. An additional 65 delegates were present with the right to speak but not to vote, and another six were admitted as guests. The gathering was the last Congress of the Comintern attended by Soviet leader V.I. Lenin, who was too ill to attend any regular sessions and only appeared to deliver a single speech, the Congress opened at 9 p.m. in the People's House in Petrograd, called to order by Clara Zetkin of Germany, who noted the fifth anniversary of the October Revolution of 1917. An honorary 13-member presidium of the Congress—chosen in advance by ECCI in consultation with important national parties—was unanimously elected as the first order of business. Topic. Factional turmoil The World Congress, as the highest decision-making authority of the Communist International, was marked by the bitter factional battles of various member parties, with each group seeking final decision in favor of its policies and positions. Chief among these was the battle among the delegates of the Communist Party of America, split into two hostile factional groups. The battle spilled into the nominations for the American seat on the governing executive committee of the Communist International, with American Otto Hussewoud protesting the nomination of C.E. Ruthenberg for this position, arguing that he had himself been selected for the spot by the American delegation. Hussewoud's protest was to no avail as the new executive was proposed as a single slate of pre-determined names, all amendments were rejected, and the list of candidates was approved on bloc. Topic. Policy of the United Front While the tactic of the United Front was first adopted by ECCI in December 1921, the Fourth World Congress is remembered to history for having extended and further institutionalized the tactic. Topic. Presidium of the Fourth World Congress Members of the Presidium were equals equals speakers at the Fourth World Congress.